Ignorant co-conspirator has clearly stashed his ill Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Groot. Groot. You okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Groot. Is that my toothbrush? What are you doing with my toothbrush? What are you... Great. <laughs> oh, gross. Any units I uncover will go directly to you. What do you mean? But I am unsure Gross. the others will do the same. Drex, so, we gotta all find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. Yeah. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it it's an earth thing. Uh. What I mean is you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, maybe we could get some units for this knife. Or or that razor. Why are there dents in my wall? I will leave you to it. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. Wh what are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what the dolls? Do you value your life? Not really. <laughs> Is that a trick question? I feel like Peter Quill okay. has yes. no Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then self surviving function. And get out. Oh, okay. <laughs> See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Okay. Thanks, Gams. Trusting me on Hanshi. Trust you repaid by attempting to rob our employer. I told you I was just testing What's this? their security measures. Oh. Oh. Broken. Is. Hey. Oh, hey, buddy. Groot. I was Where'd just, you come from? Uh, checking to see if everything was okay, and it is okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without... It's true. You know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. Yeah. I mean... I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half of the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> I think Rocket would sound TV cute. Did not prepare me for the realities of living in space. Let me tell you. I'm cool. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. Yeah. I mean, it's true. I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you. How lonely that can be. This is a great you heart to lost. heart. You must have been lost too before Rocket and and us. I am. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. Yeah. Who knows? If this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow or hack it or I don't know. I am Groot. It'd be nice to finally talk to you. Hmm. <sighs> 
Actually, hold that thought. Rocket! <laughs> hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, you have Aww. this language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. Oh. Huh. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. <laughs> they didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. Yeah. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Totally understood what the fuck just happened. Let me guess. You're watching me. I am. What do you think I'm going to do? Conjure some units from thin air? Can you do that? No. So we have rockets illegal shit. So, got any ideas to get those units together? You have investments. <laughs> you think I look like an investment type of guy? You are a risk taker. Exactly. I don't sit behind no desk all day hoping for real estate fluctuations. I go out and I do stuff. What's in here I could sell? Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out and... Uh, Gamora, I was just... Hi, Gamora. Are you talking to? No one. Don't worry about Bluebird. it. Bluebird. It, um was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the serious system <sighs> of scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? Yeah. <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. He was Mary Poppins. You me? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly... Oh, you know, he kidnapped we me. on Centauri Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. weren't. Uh. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. Ah. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With... <sighs> After we broke out... He could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first They're covering a lot of shit I have no yeah, understanding of. A big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? Yeah. He's my space was... daddy. Yondu and I were cellmates. 
First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. <sighs> Shatari have these gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not yeah. sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation in plan. Do you know? Then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. Hell oh, yeah. Buck a load of units too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. It's a... Uh... It Ravager. It's hard to talk over this game because it's constantly doing story, and I just don't want to interrupt it. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around. Like, I don't want to interrupt it at all. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Oh, damn it. That's it? Okay. units? Appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever Big since you first Kong. joined us. I mean,. Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always out on My this figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real mature. We will seek the best. Guys. I think we should hear our group for once. I am. <laughs> He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the <laughs> problem with the plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys <laughs> monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. Oh, oh yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Whoa! Shit! <laughs> Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, Rockets he is not offering that, Groot. okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Yeah. <laughs> so I really? chose to send How in as How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Uh, let's go for Rocket. I don't want to. I don't want to upset well, Rocket. Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. Okay. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we uh, we get it. Get a the point is, is I think you make a fine monster. Still Rocket, and we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be one hundred percent sure. I think Groot sure, would make a. Better definitely monster, okay with hard. this. Anyone's gonna uh, probably understand him. I can't lines. wait to hold this over you. All right, let's do this. So you sold Groot. 
No, I sold Rocket because in my mind, in like my canon as to what I was thinking was, Rocket's We're not seriously insanely flying smart and good at escaping places he doesn't want to be. So we yeah. were to stick it in there ruler. and then carefully That's not how escape. Women work. Or Maybe weather. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Neom! Piece of cake. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> you can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. They just fuck. Can't do anything right. Yep. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Dad. <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Everybody. Every single person here complaining. We still have rockets, like, weapon shit. Like, I don't understand why we don't sell that. Time to build a sonic umbrella. Ah, oh, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. I am Groot. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. <laughs> it had to be raining. All right, gentlemen and lady. I hope y'all... Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. <laughs> it's an impregnable fortress. You're gonna ruin his suit. So how do we impregnate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to any Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant okay. card. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? In fact, you ain't sure. Don't vote so good. Out! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We will walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got <laughs> this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. This, I feel like I'm walking on ramen. Mm-hmm. Upon duplicity and dishonor. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not Whoa! That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. Drax, please do not. So we're still doing this. Yes! Don't cheer on the freaking lightning trying to kill us. The hell's down this way. I'm not cowering, I'm collecting shit. I know, Rocket. Just hang on. No. 
No. Whoa. Dude. I love how often they talk, dude. They they don't ever shut the hell up. That's not good. Whoa. should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Ooh. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. <sighs> oh, God. Eh, not sure. Oh, no, it's slime. Uh, hello? Ain't moving now. Would be wary, Rudy. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. <laughs> it's not alone. Get ready. It is not alone. That is true. Hi. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you want to find more of my live streams as they're happening, I stream every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. And just come and check me out at twitch.tv slash mongopsr. You can also find me on my Twitter at mongopsr. And, of course, here right on YouTube at mongopsr. Thanks for watching.